Okay, greetings. We're back again, and now we're going to convert the other 31 bits. All right, so if we want to do something 31 times or 32 times, we're going to need a, starts with an L, a loop, right? Okay, so how do we do a loop? Well, we can do this with ECX. Remember, we're using ECX for our loop variables. And then at the bottom of the loop, we could either decrement ECX or just use and, and jump or just use a loop instruction. So we could say L1. Okay. So it's going to go back up to L1. And this could have been, this could have been, this is the same as. Okay, and then okay. so decrement ECX. So it's going to go ECX is 32. Then we're going to fall down through here. Decrement ECX go up, 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 up. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to notice is that ESI contain the address of bin buff, right? We know how to do that. Move. ESI bin buff. Remember, bin buff is a label, a label for this spot in memory. So when I say move bin buff ESI, what I'm doing is I'm taking this address, this label for this spot in memory, not the stuff in memory, and I'm putting it into register ESI. So ESI contains that address. So then I go into my loop. ESI is set up. EAX came in already set up, and I can do this stuff here, right? So let's just do it. Rotate EAX to get the high order bit into there, right? Move. Okay, and get the isolate just the lower a bit, add to turn it into a nasty character. Alright. And then finally store the resulting ASCII character. Just the one byte. And then finally we need to do what? We need to move ESI so that it points to the next spot in memory. Like that. And then we're going to loop. So then we're going to loop. Okay. When we loop, we notice EAX has now got this value in it, right? So. We're going to start here with EAX was 0, 1, 1. There was an orange here. Where's my orange? Okay. 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, 0, 0, 1. Blah, 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 blah. 1, 0, 1. That's my EAX before I start. And then I rotate. I rotate. The zero goes down to there, right? And all the other bits are zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one. Okay. One, zero, one, zero. Put that into EBX. EBX now has a zero in the crucial spot. 
I end that with a 1, down here becomes a 0. Well, the rest of it becomes 0, but this is the 0, that's, this is the important 0. I convert that to a character by adding x30. I get 30 here. Start doing that in blue. So now I've taken this next bit, rotated it around, got it into EBX, isolated it with my mask, converted it into an ASCII character. That's a now ASCII zero. And I move it into that spot. And we had already incremented ESI, so this becomes 30. We're now down to here. We increment ESI. ESI is now going to point to the next byte. And what? We're back up. We look back up to the top. Here we are. EAX has now got this in it, right? So this is now the high order character. So. Again, we're going to rotate it. I won't bother drawing it out for you, but you get the idea. Every time we rotate EAX, and we get another bit over here, we convert it to a character, mask it, convert it to a character, put it into memory, increment ESI, move over. That will get us all 32 bits. We get done with the 30 second bit, we stop looping, we pop, and return. Happiness? Okay, I've now shown you how to actually do this piece of code, and I hope you understand it, and you can trace through it. I highly recommend that you enable the registers and assess them and trace through what it looks like. Um, thank you. One moment. Thank you.